Right, so you've heard me complain in the past. I've fitted these RNG bar ends. And no matter how tight you get this screw, it still continues to turn. So, I figured it out. This isn't as tight as it was, to be fair, they are pretty tight. Uh, hence I've got these rubber gloves on. Gives you a good grip on the metal without using vice grips or anything. Let's see how that looks from here. Yeah, this is the pig of a problem I come up against. I've done the other side now. And this bit in here, which looks like this. So that goes all the way in there. And it's held in by a clip. And I'm assuming this is the same as the other side. But I wasn't aware after watching loads of YouTube videos. There's a little hole here. And a little hole here. And there's like a little spring clip that sits in between the tube of the bar and this floating thing, which is a bar weight, I believe. This is the one out the other side. And it slots all the way inside the tube of the handlebar. So it just sort of hovers on these rubbers. Hence, that's why it spins all the time when you try and tighten it. Right, I've got a bit of threaded bar here with a bit of heavy metal with a hole in it. <laughs> And what I do is and that moved out a little tiny bit, but not enough. I'm using a set of tiny vice grips. to try and grab the little metal ends of the clip, the little edges after sort of digging it out partially so you can get the grips on it but it's no fun whatsoever and a job that took about half an hour in total on the Yamaha has taken, I think this is actually my third attempt without giving up doing these. I'm going to try and pull the clip out so far so you can just get enough to grab it with the grips. But it's a hard thing to do yourself. But you're working in that confined a space. Somebody else would just be on your road. Right, I'm really hoping I'm getting here very soon. I've got vice grips on the clip. It's trying to get them on in the first place, it's a problem because you've just nothing to grab. So you need to sort of prise it out. Enough to get the vice grips on it and then they slip off. Goodness. Set to try this stuff. Set to try you. Yeah, I've pretty much mangled the clip. Oh, and it's still not coming. It's still not coming. Goodness sake, man. Some jobs you wish you just never started. Right, I've picked away and picked away at this clip. And it still wasn't coming out. So I've got my bit of threaded bar on. 
screwed in again, which I couldn't actually do on the other side because I screwed it up, and knack of the thread. So I felt a little bit of movement there. Oh, yeah, beauty. Wait. Now, that was an absolute pig. So here's hoping the rest goes smoothly. And if you notice here, I've left the other mirrors on because I just planned for the worst. <laughs> There's no point in taking off them to put them back on again if these weren't going to work. So I bought these uh, anodised blue mirrors off of AliExpress. Very cool, so they are. Very high quality. So they're not designed to go on with the RNG bar ends. So what you've got to do is... The bolt that comes with the Honda bar end, or the bolts that are on the original bar ends from the Honda, are roughly the same length as the cap screws with the Allen hex on it. So they're both too short when you want to use the arm G ends. So you need to use a bolt approximately this length, which is around an inch longer than the factory one. And what you want to do is put that through your RNG bar end. Put this part on here, this part on here as well. And then you've got this coned shape part. So you put the tapered end, which is the narrower end, into this. Try and get it on the right thread first time, that would be ideal. Oh, there we go. Still doesn't feel right. Nope, try again. Make sure that is going to screw onto that. In fact, that's what it is, I'm using the wrong bolt. <laughs> that bolt's all wonky. That's one of the bolts I was using, trying to hammer off the, the bar ends there. And it's pure buckled the bolt. And stretched the thread on it. Right, try again. So, tapered end. Into that, onto the thread. Now you've got your RNG bar end with this. You're as well screwing that in by hand till that grips inside that. Then you insert this into the bar end and you try and find the arm key. As tight as you possibly can. Solid. So then on to the bar ends, or the bar end mirrors.
these won't fit onto the RNG ones. So you have to do away with the the bar ends that come with them. But they're, they're actually okay looking. I thought I was going to have to use them. But I managed to get round it, thankfully. God, that was glued in place there. So then I found this out right away, as soon as I put this on, it's just too big. So I'm going to have to pack it out. I put like a rubber ring on the other side that I got with a phone mount. But I didn't have another one big enough, so I'll figure something out and come back to it. So here we go, the following day. Got a little thin slither of rubber that I happened to find on another old phone mount. So you put that in first. Then you want to feed that edge in to make up the slack. and the rubber in underneath the, the metal of the bar end mirror. And don't put it too close to your throttle grip or it can prevent it from returning. So we'll go with a bit there I think. It's something we'll have to play about with. A little bit. Right, we tiny bolt through the mirror mount. something that's unusual, the same size Allen key fits this, this and the bar end. So that's only one I have to carry with me in case I have to adjust anything while I'm out. Brilliant. Very impressed with them. Very impressed.